What subreddits do you feel were great in concept but never got the attention they deserved? And why? R. Policy sketch me. Op writes a police description of themselves. Commander draws a sketch based on the description. Op then posts a pic to compare. Great concept. Just never really figured out a proper format for sketch drawing. Comparison. R. Reverse jokes. It was my own failure to promote it. You write the punchline as your submission. Then in the comments people come up with a joke to fit that punchline. R. Read my script. I mean sure has got tons of people posting their scripts, but good luck getting anyone to read them. Much less give feedback that's worth a damn. R. Top secret recipes. So many classic dishes from restaurants that I'd love to recreate at home. But everyone's asking and nobody's answering. R. Righty tighty. If you have trouble remembering something you can post it there and someone will create a memory. Hook for your situation. Like if you can't remember which way to tighten a screw. You can just remember righty tighty. R. Google Maps. You can look at the whole world on Google Maps and there is an infinite supply of cool stuff to post on the subreddit. I made a couple posts where you could see the RLC dry up as time passed. Super interesting but the subreddit was small so not a lot of people saw it. I also made a series of posts called, Scars of War, showing the complete devastation of Syria. Captured by Google Maps. Whole neighborhoods were torn down. Awful awful stuff on a scale visible from space. Lately I've been exploring the Gobi Desert and all the weird and massive earthworks and structures. With seemingly no purpose. There are grids, zigzags, and chaotic patterns etched on the desert floor hundreds of miles long. As I said there's an endless supply of material. But not a lot of people see the posts so I stopped posting there. Edit. Since people seem to like this. Check out a new place I found. It's the sprawling leftovers of the trenches built during the Iran-Iraq War. Not that long ago in the 1980s. The specific battle where these trenches were used was brutal. Operation Ramadan. It was the largest land battle since World War II and the remnants are still visible from space. Our anti-vaccine is a fake subreddit containing nothing about vaccines at all and instead is entirely consisting of videos of remixes of the Quad City DJ's hit Space Jam. It has been recently quarantined anyway by an inept admin who doesn't get the joke. The joke's been going for several years now and it's disrupting a community that likes to post Space Jam videos with funny fake titles. And since up is an admin. How about you, a golden zebra some attention to this? I've now sent two quarantine appeals to modmail on r slash reddit.com and have a Zendesk ticket open with Reddit help. Number 2,114,527. I have not heard back at all about anything. And it's been several weeks. Zero communication. You, Spez. Edit. Thanks for the support, sports fans. Hash edit 2. We just got U-N-Q-U-A-R-A-N-T-I-N-E-D. Edit 3. So looks like we're going to go over 10k subscribers now lol unbelievable. This whole thread about to become one big r subreddit cpr. Also, r subreddit cpr. Edit. Just a reminder everyone. If a subreddit is inactive due to moderator inactivity. You can request to take it over on our Reddit request. R. Yes, yeah, sleep. It was supposed to be the antithesis of no sleep. With guided meditations, nice stories, and just an overall warm, inviting place to unwind after a long day or for any insomniacs. I hope it can be brought back. R. Two source news. It's mine. It didn't get the attention it deserved from me. Honestly. I started it when I thought I'd have time for it and then I didn't. The idea is to force users who share news stories to find two separate sources with different references before posting. Hopefully to make the quality of the news posted slightly better.
I got really tired of seeing a story that was posted by 40 different outlets but every single one was just repeating the same information from the same original source. I also wanted to have a way to encourage users to think about where they're getting their news from by making them actually look up where it originated before posting. Unfortunately, that kind of thing takes active moderation and it's difficult to track well. If anyone else thinks it's a good idea and wants to take control of it and has time for it, I'd be happy to sign over the deed to it. R. Tombstoning, because it's fucking hilarious. At least last I checked it was. R. Submatch. The idea of matching up users with similar interests and be friends was neat. I think the owner was just overwhelmed and it didn't work out. R. Lampposts. It's just a place full of freaking lampposts. Been subbed for a while now I always felt it deserved more subs. I have seen so many weird and interesting lampposts because of that place. Who knew something so simple could be so varied? An admin asking a question here feels like when the principal would sit in on one of your classes. In high school evaluating the teachers. Now I'm worried the mods are gonna lose their jobs. R. Subsimulator GPT-2. A subreddit of AI Redditors simulating Redditors from other subreddits. With a language model trained on the Reddit corpus itself. Then individual subreddits. It's like a super advanced R. Subreddit simulator. R. Mavens was supposed to be a place for people who were particularly skilled to provide tips and advice about their various areas of expertise. Like R. Life Pro Tips. Except for specialists. It could have been super useful for all sorts of folks. But it never took off. These sub deserve much more following than current. R. University of Reddit. Most underrated sub probably. People literally take classes there. R. Hard Science. For the academically inclined. A collection of actual scientific papers. Not pop culture science. R. Silky Chickens. The last post was two years and includes fluffy chickens in headbands. I cannot for the life of me figure out why this sub isn't driving. Where are all of the chicken owners at? R. Low Stockus Conspiracies. Those of you that still keep a sub alive even if it's just a flicker of the flame. You are the real MVPs. Our panoramic activity couldn't say why it's not bigger, it's hilarious. Our movie trivia doesn't fit into the film theory or movie details subs. Our no context picks. What our picks should be before it turned into Facebook after relentless amounts of shitty pictures of people in hospital gowns, babies, double A coins and other sob stories. Asterisk asterisk edit. Asterisk asterisk and if anyone's wondering, I've asked the mods there several times about this. Basically have said that nobody will be pleased with what they do. And, a pick is a pick. So let the users upvote what they want. That's fine and all. But then why were progress picks banned? And if that's your opinion now, why not start allowing progress picks again? Just because things get upvoted to the front page doesn't make it good or healthy for a sub. On a near daily basis now, you have front page R picks posts with 60 to 75% scores. Where the bulk of the top comments are, thanks Facebook. If you decide to make men in hospital pictures allowed, then you need to do a better job informing the community and keeping the comments sections from becoming dumpster fires. All I asked for anyways was that they do a meta post asking for feedback. I'm just one person. My views don't matter. The community's does. Shameless self-plug. R. The past. Greater than in this subreddit. We pretend it's the past by making posts and comments relevant to the current era. This sub's era is changed periodically. I think it's a great concept. But I don't know how to get it going without advertising it in a bunch of other subs. Edit. If more people are interested, let's pick a year or an era of history and go with it. Edit 2 to 2001 is the current era.
I've posted links to movies, history, slang, etc. to an announcement thread. R. Divorced birds. R. Statement. It's the only place where I can make a statement. R. Next door it has so many funny ass posts. Sort by all time to get a good feel. R. Risky Google search was started by a comment and I was one of the first posters there but it died. Pretty soon. I reckon it can be a good subreddit even NIW. R. Accidental terrorism. Edit. Before I posted this there were four online. Now there are over 250. I am so happy that I just single-handedly doubled the size of my favorite subreddit. Why is your username red? Question mark. R. Wish WTF. Just a place where you laugh at weird products from wish.com. R. Amputee. My mom's a recent amputee and it's been a big help for her. I think it would be great if it got more support. R. Amish. R. The gritty past is a favorite of mine. Probably exactly because it never got the attention it deserves. It's a wonderful reminder of how terrible we are. R. Sharks with wings. R. Findipath over 30. Findipath and career subs are mainly full of students and postgrads. Which is fine. Because people at that age are often completely lost and really do need guidance. That's really important. Problem is, people over 30 are also often lost. And their plays get lost in the other subs. 30 to 35 and maybe up to 40 are the decisive years in one's career. And with older age people have even trouble with career moves. And I'm really sad that very few people seem to be interested in that sub. R. Dantino Huiam is trotting along and sometimes gets new content. But I wish it were more often. Tony Hawk's stories are fun but I guess there are only so many opportunities for this content. R. Duck. R. T. Q. D. C. Stands for Thinking Quickly. Dave Crafted. This is basically a more specific R. D. I. W. H. Y. It comes from this Disney Channel cartoon asterisk Dave the Barbarian, asterisk which was an old favorite of mine. There was a scene where, asterisk thinking quickly, Dave crafted asterisk a megaphone using a squirrel, some string, and a megaphone. So posts would be these DIY creations that defeat the purpose of it being DIY. Because it's built using the actual item is you're like a bottle opener made using some twine and AA battery, and a bottle opener. I think it had, or has, some potential to be an active spin-off of DIWHY. Like how there's a R asshole design and R crappy design. R global talk. R wild beef is a good concept. It's basically when you forget the name of a word and call it something funny.